sitting here today, Ms. Hurd, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the Hurd, settlement, $7 million to question. charity, and I, Hurd, I intend to fulfill Hurd, those obligations. Hurd, that's not my question. Please what try was your to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Hello everyone, we're here for another interesting video. In this video, we'll be talking about why IRS might be behind Amber and how she can get into yet another feud. You'll be shocked to see the kind of money Amber Heard spent on her 30th birthday. Watch the video to the end to know more. So, what happened is that the IRS is right now looking into Amber Heard for the alleged perjury she committed with the divorce settlement money. Due to the way Amber misled Johnny into marrying her, and then their divorce story which we all know. People believe that she then fled after receiving money in recognition and started calling her a gold digger. Let us start from the beginning. Amber acknowledged in the defamation case against Johnny Depp that she hasn't given the 7 million US dollars that she promised to two organizations after they were divorced. Johnny promised to pay the remaining amount over the course of a year after having already given Amber $200,000 at the moment. On the television program, Amber Heard revealed that she had given away the whole divorce settlement and had nothing to do with the fund. $7 million in total was donated to, and I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, as quoted by Amber Heard. Meaning that Amber promised to split the compensation evenly between the American Civil Liberties Union and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, donating the full amount to charity. Amber wasn't able to give the whole amount, so when Johnny's team uncovered it out during his 2020 libel lawsuit against the British newspaper, they charged her with allegedly stealing the funds. Amber Heard later lied about giving the money away, claiming in her witness statement that she remained financially independent from him during the whole time we were together, and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity in February 2020. However, at the time, neither the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles nor the ACLU would comment on Amber's donation, and neither organization would confirm whether they really got $3.5 million. And so, when Johnny team later raised this point during the UK libel trial, Amber claimed there was a delay in payments because she had to spend millions of dollars to defend herself against Johnny in court. Let us do some math now. So, Johnny Depp filed his defamation lawsuit in March 2019, and the money from the divorce was received by Amber Heard in 2017. She had around two years to donate the money, so practically all this makes no sense as she has plenty of time for donation. Johnny Depp's lawyer Ben Chu picked this up very quickly. The organization, aka ACLU, which came up with the concept for Amber's op-ed in the Washington Post, ultimately acknowledged during the defamation trial that they didn't receive the full sum that Amber had promised. Terence Doherty, the chief operations officer and general counsel of the ACLU, said through a recorded video that was the contract for Amber to contribute the money over the period of 10 years, beginning in August 2016. Following that, they detailed how they only received $3,550,500 from Amber and made $100,000 from a check they received directly from Johnny Depp. You'll also be shocked to hear that even Elon Musk, who was Amber Heard's boyfriend, was also a part of all this deal. Elon Musk allegedly helped Amber in this issue by utilizing a Vanguard account and his contacts and even proposed that Amber pay the required amount over the next 10 years, according to Terrence. In an email to Anthony Romero in August 2016, Elon mentioned, Amber, I described your plan to donate $3.5 million to the ACLU over the next 10 years, as you very much believe what you were doing. When the ACLU was questioned about when and where Amber stopped to pay the sum, they stated, quote, we reached out to her starting in 2019 for the next installment of her giving, and we learned that she was having financial difficulties." End quote. Before Amber Heard could put together her defense, another blow was delivered about her other 3.5 million US dollars. Candy Davidson Goldbron, a spokeswoman for Children's Hospital LA, revealed that she wrote Amber's lawyers to confirm the total amount in a letter. 
I'm inquiring if you know if CHLA should expect further payment installments on your behalf or if the pledge will not be fulfilled. I appreciate any insights on this matter, she quoted, referencing the phrase she had used in the letter. The fact that Amber only handed the hospital $250,000 and immediately cut all ties shows how determined she was to honor her vow. Amber charged Johnny in her testimony on May 16th with making the $100,000 donations in order to gain tax benefit. Amber Heard said, quote, The agreement actually is for him to pay me directly. It was not his money. As per the settlement agreement to give away and reap tax benefit, if he wants to do it and give to a charity, then he should pay the correct amount and not try to get a big tax break for it. So effectively, for his tax bracket, he should be paying double that amount to the charity. And if he wanted to pay the charity directly, he could do that, but he would need to pay the adjusted amount. Amber continued by stating that Johnny had promised to pay her the remaining divorce settlement in installments, which she was then required to send to the two charities. She stated, quote, I was going to be receiving it in installments, and I would be paying in installments to the donations. End quote. Amber Heard was questioned by Johnny Depp's attorney Camilla Vasquez about how she said she donated the whole amount during her 2018 appearance on the Dutch television program. When Amber was questioned by Camilla Vasquez, quoting, Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. To which Amber replied, quote, I use pledged and donations synonymously with one another. Camilla very quickly jumped in and mentioned that she, however, does not use them synonymously. When Camilla Vasquez literally forced Amber to reveal she still hadn't made the donation in full, Amber once more blamed Johnny, saying she wasn't able to do so since Johnny had sued her. At the same time, Amber also said she had no desire to keep the funds for herself and that she just made the remark about donating them to clean her name. Amber once again, like before, placed the responsibility for everything on Johnny. After Camilla pointed out that her testimony at the UK trial, Amber used the word donated rather than pledged. I remained financially independent from Depp the whole time we were together, is what Amber Heard said on February 26, 2020, while claiming she never wanted Johnny's money. Now, this is the catch. Edward White, Johnny's business manager, later said that Amber had first requested that Johnny send her $14 million tax-free. Edward White claims that the divorce settlement was first established at $4 million, but later increased to $5 million, and then went from $5 million to $5.5 million, then to $7 million. Adding to that, she asked Mr. Depp also to pay her attorneys $500,000 in addition to the other amounts. Amber then wanted to file an appeal, but in order for the appeal court to accept Amber's petition, she must first deposit the suspension bail in the amount of $10.35 million that the jury awarded Johnny, plus 6% interest every year. When Elaine, Amber's lawyer, was called for an interview, it was said that she emphasized Amber's reported financial instability and the difficulty of her getting the money to pay Johnny Depp. On Amber's 30th birthday in 2016, Vega Cecilia Unico, which is her favorite wine, and which costs $500 per bottle, was ordered in five volumes. Amber drank one or two bottles a day, according to Johnny's business manager. Several sources have said that she was also taking money out of Johnny's bank accounts. There are just so many contradictions in the financial situation of Amber Heard that fans as well are demanding for the IRS to look into her financial statements and find out the truth. That's it for today. Please like and share the video and comment down below as to what you think is up with Amber's finances. And if or not, we'll be hearing more case hearings from Miss Heard. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay updated on our videos. Thank you!